Hi guys! So, obviously from the title of this video, you can tell that this is my top three foundations for oily skin. And obviously if you know, my skin type is oily combination. Well, not combination, it does have a little bit of dry patches. Um, I have patches right here, right here, and around this area. And because sometimes, you know, people can get a little crusty and flaky and, you know, the age is... Yo, my highlight. <laughs> oh, it's all my... <laughs> anyways, and you know how I could get, like, a little crusty and... Yeah, anyways, this is already getting out of, like... Like, this. anyways, before I make the intro a little... Way too long, much longer than it should be. Let me just get started. Um, I have three requirements for foundation um foundation has to have good coverage good lasting power and it's supposed to keep my skin as matte as possible now don't get me wrong i love i don't love like the matte finish obviously i have highlight and my skin is a little glowy because while i do like my foundations to be matte I want to also have highlighter like I want to control where I put my glow for example if I put like a dewy foundation it is more likely for me not to be able to control my oiliness slash my dewiness of my skin because of the foundation and if I have a matte base I'm able to control where I can put the shine and that makes any sense um look at me how professional that's why I like a matte base and two of these foundations our drugstore and one of them is high-end I am gonna try out more foundations later in the future comment down below on um, foundations that you guys enjoy and that you want me to try out and review for you guys or you guys just love and it's just like Tanya here's a recommendation and I have oily skin you have oily skin here's a recommendation so if you guys have a recommendation how many times did I say recommendation already um leave it down below and tell me so yeah let's get started so I'm gonna go from like bottom, from like my least favorite to my favorite, even though they're all my favorites. But you know what I mean. Um, so first one I have here is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, and I have it in the shade medium 57. I have this, I have this foundation mixed in with the other foundation that I'm gonna show you guys in a couple of minutes. So this foundation comes in a in a pump, a plastic pump, and it looks like this is all like pretty and stuff. They're repackaging the. There, I believe Kat Von D repackaging the foundation, but not the formula. Like, she's not reformulating it. But she is repackaging it. I believe this is $36 or $35 now. But I really, really like this foundation. It has a lot of shades from light to dark. I feel like she specializes a lot on the pale, on pale side of the spectrum because she does have pale skin, I believe. But more about my foundation and how I love it. It's supposed to have full coverage, 24-hour wear. It's supposed to be transfer resistant, matte finish. Fragrance free, oil free, and I believe this is cruelty free too because Kevin D is on her way to being a vegan beauty line. So I do like her um, her beliefs and how she portrays it on her makeup products. I really like that. Um, it doesn't disturb my skin. Now I do believe my skin isn't sensitive, so it could take like products pretty roughly, and it won't have much of a effect on my skin so if I speak I can't speak for sensitive people uh, like for people who have sensitive skin because I obviously don't have that but it does not break me out I have to make sure I clean my face after I finish this foundation because just like with other foundations I don't want my pores to get clogged 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 but this foundation doesn't clog my pores at all it has an amazing full full coverage guys like you will it's just so amazing at the full coverage like you will achieve a photoshop skin like you can obviously layer down the layer up the foundation to have even a more full coverage and if you want to lighten it up mix it with your moisturizer and you can immediately get it into a little more lightish medium coverage but whether you whatever you do with this foundation i feel like you'll always have a full coverage look because it is so intense it does have an amazing staying power i believe that with a primer and with settings power um settings power setting spray it does make it last longer and makes it not fade away that quickly it will last me all day i haven't used it 24 hours because i take off my makeup but it does have amazing staying power like i really really like it, it doesn't fade away or if it starts fading away it doesn't fade away blotchy or like like with spots I do like using a primer with this because I have areas where it is very dry and you can definitely catch up you can definitely catch those like they kind of um 
accentuate this part accentuates that that spot more so I, de I definitely like using a more moisturizing primer under this foundation if you do have a bit of dry patches when it comes to the transfer resistant claim i don't think it's transfer resistant or 100 percent transfer resistant um like i said if you put setting spray set if you put on a setting spray and a primer it does um help help it be a little bit more transfer resistant but like as it just by itself it's very very not transfer resistant i feel like if i just rub my face a little bit on something this will come off and it's not a problem but for me it's kind of embarrassing because I mean, why would you want to put foundation on somebody else's shirt? Like, that's, that's embarrassing. Um, it's not just resistant, but it isn't a big problem where if I hug somebody, it immediately comes off. It's just kind of like if I rub it a little bit, that's when it comes off. When it, um, so yeah, it's not super treasure resistant, but it's like 60% treasure resistant, but it really isn't. Um, it's a matte finish, like like you look photoshop it feels very soft to the touch and very velvety in my skin it does look a little bit cakey once you do start laying it up because it is such a big thick full coverage because this foundation is very very thick it's not liquidy at all so yeah it does start looking a little bit cakey but not a big problem so yeah after eight minutes of this foundation i love this foundation i give it a four out of five stars love it i will definitely repurchase this when i get run out and on to the next one hopefully i don't take as long time with the other ones my next foundation is l'oreal infallible pro matte and it's also the one that i'm mixing with the kat von d to have this amazing finish again like the kat von d one this is not my perfect skin tone it is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone and it's a little light for me right now because i am getting a little tan so that's why i mix these two up to make my perfect shade at the moment um i have it in the color 106 sun beige usually sun beige in the l'oreal um department of foundations is usually my shade so i chose this one it's a, the claims on this foundation is it's a lasting demi 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 a lasting demi matte finish it is 24 hours it claims to be 24 hour wear have medium coverage and air light um, texture and it's oil control and I feel like it does keep my oiliness at it tames my oiliness I feel like it doesn't like melt off my face it feels very very light I don't feel it on my face on the cap on the you could sometimes feel it when it gets like really hot I can feel the foundation on my face this one I don't feel it on my face at all um it doesn't it's transfer resistant in my opinion. It does have a very nice matte finish. I don't think it's a demi matte finish. I think it's a matte finish. Um, not like a matte, but like a, nat a natural matte finish. I guess it's a demi matte, but in my opinion, it's more matte. Like a really, really matte foundation. Um, it ha does have medium coverage. I try to build, build it up to full, but it just doesn't have the, the, the potential. It doesn't have the... The coverage for it to be full it does have like the potential to be full but i feel like this is definitely more of a medium a little bit going towards the full coverage kind of foundation i really like this foundation it's in a squeezy tube it's very very convenient very slim very easy for travel with um it's very air light again i don't feel on my on my face i definitely th it retails for 12.99 in the drugstores and from what i've heard from other youtubers and other people who have who have bought this foundation most of the shades in this foundation uh, are more yellow tone and the, the skin tones for this foundation isn't as wide as variety as the kat von d one which kind of sucks but you could definitely find your shade or at least work with one of those foundations and find your shade and just mix kind of thing because it isn't such a it is a cheap foundation um it is one fluid ounce just like every other foundation and the lasting power is amazing with this it does fade a little bit quicker in my opinion like i definitely see it sometimes around my nose it starts getting a little bit more red because i usually get red around my nose and i definitely start seeing it towards the end of the day now it doesn't fade away blotchy or spot like with spots or anything like that it doesn't pick up on my um my dry patches i feel like it's kind of like more creamy so i feel like it just glides over them kind of thing i definitely still use it with a moisturizing primer if i have like dry patches but again it's not a big problem where i need to like <gasps> like i need to hide my dry patch because it's not just it doesn't pick up on it if i use a hydrating primer 
with it. I like using this with a brush or with a beauty blender. I prefer it with a brush more because with a beauty blender, I feel like it soaks up more of the product and it loses the coverage a little bit more. Um, the Kat Von D, I like using it with both a brush and a beauty blender. I like this foundation a lot, honestly. It's trans it's not it's transfer resistant, it's matte, it keeps me not oily, it just stays on all day. And it's just like anything that you would want to ask for in a foundation. A little bit goes a long way with this foundation. And I definitely see this as being a holy grail status for many people. The last foundation I have for you guys is the CoverGirl LS Day Fabulous Foundation in A57 Golden Tan. Surprise, surprise. I've already talked about this foundation in previous favorites. I have a demo slash review. I have a demo slash review of this foundation already. I'll link it down below as well as I have one for my L'Oreal Infallible. They're both my foundation routines and I have both of those foundations being used in two videos. So I'll link those down below. And I love this foundation. I'll also link down below my declutter foundations where I basically review all my foundations that I have in my collection. <sighs> out of breath already. So yeah. This one out of most of them has the saddest um, color selection in my opinion. It's not very good in the color selection. It's either too yellow or too pink. But it skips around shades a lot. So it kind of sucks. It is a glass bottle and it has a blue pump. And it has like a little secure lock to make sure like pump it pumps out. But with this one, it doesn't. The cap is really dirty, so let me just take that out for you guys. Um, I don't feel secure taking this tra traveling with me because it is a glass bottle. And by the end of the foundation, like, sometimes, it's, sometimes it squeezes out, sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes I have to, like, you know, take it out and put it on my face, which kind of sucks. But I love this foundation. I believe this foundation is $12.99, again, in CoverGirl. Um, it doesn't break me out. It's, um... Let's see, the claims on this foundation is lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer, and blendability of a foundation in one shine free. And I feel like the, these claims are all true. I feel like this has amazing coverage. It has definitely full coverage. It lasts all day, even without a primer. I don't need a hydrating primer on this because it doesn't pick up on my dry patches, in my opinion. Sorry. It doesn't pick up on my dry patches, in my opinion. But I do like using like a pore filling primer with all of these foundations. But I like using a pore filling primer with this foundation because it doesn't necessarily accentuate my pores, but it doesn't hide them either. And it's not one of the claims as well. But this is an amazing foundation. It lasts all day, guys. I've actually struck this foundation once. Oops. And my foundation still looked pretty fine by the, end the next day, in my opinion. And it doesn't transfer off. It feels so soft on my skin. This is one of the foundations that I act that I feel like looks good in camera. And it also well not in camera because it has 20. But like on camera, not flash photography. And um it's amazing. It does have flashback when you do use flash photography because it has SPF 20, which is pretty high in my opinion. Amazing coverage, amazing lasting power. And it definitely keeps me shine free. And I feel like whenever I have this foundation on, somebody compliments me on my skin. Like, oh, your skin looks nice today. You're like, oh, you look good today. Like, your makeup is on fleek. Your makeup is on point. It's always when I have this foundation on. Because the base actually matters on what you put on after the foundation. I feel like the base definitely has a big impact on your makeup. So, I love this. It, keep, it gives me a nice uh, demi-matte. Um, finish when I finish applying this foundation and I feel like it keeps my oils at bay it's just an amazing I recommended this a lot it's my favorite foundation my holy girl foundation I will always repurchase this if I could have one foundation it would be this one like that's how big it is I hate the fact that the summer is coming up because I can't use this foundation because there's no shade in the line that, that corresponds with my shade so i have to mix like two two or three foundations to get my right shade so that's what i hate about the color selection of this product but other than that i love it i don't need a setting spray i don't need a primer other than a pore filling primer obviously to make this foundation last longer it's just an amazing amazing foundation guys you have to check it out like this is an amazing product it doesn't break me out it doesn't clog my pores it doesn't it's just a great product guys like i don't know what else to say about it because amazing so i love this five out of five stars favorite six out of five stars i just love this foundation i love all three of these foundations this is my favorite this is my least favorite even though i love this foundation too 
Um, I love these foundations. Definitely check them out. You guys, you guys would love all of these foundations if you have my skin tone, my skin type. And, yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys so, so much. If you guys have any more requests on videos you want to see, looks you want to see, I am planning to do a look on this look. Because I use, I, this look is something that I have on, like, all the time during the spring. But if you guys want to see that look, tell me down below and I'll do it for you guys. If not... I'll probably still do it. <laughs> but yeah. I'll check you guys in the next one. And see you guys in the next see you guys in the next one. Peace.